Plague, though, taking a lot of damage and going down nearly instantly. A curse coming in, healing Dementor Shaman nearly back to full. 275 heal on a 6 second cooldown. Tell me that is not imbalanced. Uh, and that's not even the worst part. It's actually a shield as well. But we do see Overlord and everything else going off by Corrupted Disciple trying to pick off Hellbringer here. Dementor Shaman did uh, also heal. And there it is. Dementor Shaman picking up the kill. Uh, huge team fight in here, though. A curse trying to keep his Corrupted Disciple alive. Corrupted Disciple all doing a little bit of damage to everything. Pestilence coming in. Tempest coming in. Arachna coming in. Sandwraith ulting in. Everything just going off. A curse actually goes down. Disciple was going to try and come back in. He does nuke a little bit, but it's not going to help out too much. Arachna uh, orb walking down the Sand Wraith. Sand Wraith, though, looks like he's going to get out. Tempest goes down to a D-Sham heal. Corrupted, though, tries to come back in, gets taken out by a Pestilent stun. Sand Wraith coming back in uh, after leaving. He's going to try and pick off Arachna here, but Plague All goes off. Sand Wraith goes down. Arachna is going to live, and it looks as though after all of that in and out and all sorts of crazy micro, uh, Legion side taking two deaths, Hellborn side taking three deaths. Overall, pretty well done team fight. I think both teams really... Uh, uh, knowing when to leave and when to come back in. I believe Corrupted Disciple might have gotten a little greedy there and it cost him uh, a death against Pestilence. But other than that, I mean, that's the type of trades the Legion need to do. It's a two for Legion, three for Hellborn, and we just need to see more of that. Legion really need to take advantage. And uh, do you think they're they're doing so right there in situations like that, Con? Yeah, definitely. Like, And, and more important there, arguably, is that uh, two carries died for button bashers and no carries died for the legion side of msi so that was a really good team fight there i was kind of thinking that uh the the kind of aggressive the button bashers are playing really aggressive and they were doing it well forcing uh like cooldowns like um hellbringer's ult to, to be used defensively but the team really backed up the hellbringer's ult there and it really did a lot of damage and then at the end sandwraith being really really cocky i would have preferred if he just backed off you know and just you know he could have farmed top a bit maybe a bit more but he went in and ended up getting killed uh which is not great for a heavy carry we do see some action top, here yeah. At the uh, bottom rune, yeah, Arachna coming in, trying to ult off. And Tempest hitting a huge ult. Unfortunately, only Arachna is around to do single target damage. No AoEs. And it does look as though Corrupted Disciple is going to be shielded and healed by a curse. He's going to be fine. Heal's going off by Soul Reaper, keeping everybody alive. Although Dementor Shaman did go down. Plague uh, is taking a lot of damage here from Corrupted Disciple. They are chasing down. Or Corrupted Disciple is chasing a lot of people down. Does he have the Frost Burn? I can't quite tell. No, he's actually going for Geometer's Bane first. He's chasing down uh, Hellbringer. I believe that nuke will kill Hellbringer, yes it does, and right there is the type of fight that the Hellborn need, and Dagger going off, trying to find the Arachna, but it, you're not going to catch her she's porting out, we see two people up for Legion, and four up for Hellborn, a 3-1 in the favor of the Hellborn, and just as we're commenting on how well Legion, you know, did that last fight, and how they're they're starting to play, you know, somewhat aggressive, and, and really take down some, some victories throughout the mid-game, they go ahead and they lose a team fight like that uh, you know, did that, that put them just that much more far behind? Do you think they have an easy chance? Maybe something might have gone well if, if something, you know, do you think, for instance, Tempest ulting three of them there, but with no actual hero yeah. support. Would you have ulted it there, or would you have just tried to run away? Well, I don't know. It was, it was the perfect time to ult. It was a really great ult. Getting three people in a Tempest ult like that's really strong, but it was just unfortunate, I think, more than anything else, that it was Arachna there, and nobody who could do... Like, if it was Pestilence there, uh, uh, Pestilence could have been auto-attacking, could have gotten, you know, two of his ults off, maybe, and then a followed up stun, and then that would have given loads of time for the rest of the team to support. Or if it was, you know, Hellbringer, Death Boy, Life Boy, loads of damage, and Lich could have got his ultimate off, that pretty much would have been three kills, but Arachna Arachna was the worst hero to have there at the Tempest Ult, and there was no support for that Tempest Ult, which, uh, unfortunately, it being the perfect ult, uh, nothing came out of it. And then, once the ult wore off, uh, you know, the many, many heals came off. And as I'm saying that, Button Bashers actually take down Congor, Corrupted Disciple picking, picking up the token 25 minutes in. That's not good at all for um, MSI. Uh, you know, when when carries are farming, when carries are farming this well, I wouldn't be surprised to see this game end in ten minutes time because MSI really realizing that they're so far behind. Um, but yeah, really unfortunate team fight right there. I think it was was it four died for MSI, uh, four or three. But more importantly, they got a the 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 second tier mid tower. So uh, really not looking good for Fnatic at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, you you know when you see. 
uh, the XP, it's not too much of a difference, only 2,000 in favor of the Hellbringer. We actually see Corrupt Disciple coming in here, trying to pick off Hellbringer. Two ports incoming, Hellbringer ult, you're going to see all sorts of damage, uh, uh, Sand Wraith ult, everybody throwing everything, Geometer's Bane going off, Hellbringer blowing his AoE, heals, Plague ult, Tempest, I don't believe he has his ult up yet, Pestilence trying to stun to get away, but it looks as though Corrupted isn't going to be able to chase people down, Hellbringer boils again, Tempest is being chased down by Corrupted Disciple, Plague trying to get out of there, same with Arachna, Arachna single target slowing individual people, trying to, you know, basically back kite to get, her, get her, herself out of there, but it looks as though the movement speed, no, actually, I was going to say the movement speed from Corrupted was just going to eat through the slows and, and charge forward, but I don't think that's going to happen. Sandra is sitting back, fighting the Malphys, giving him, what level is that? <laughs> Good luck casting that fight coming from uh, yeah. Fresh fly, fry fly. I would like to say, by the way, every time I've casted a BTN game, these guys, you know, they joke a lot. They have a good time. Some might be like, oh, you shouldn't talk in all chat and stuff. And, and to an extent, I would agree with people that are going to say that. But, you know, keeping it lighthearted, this might be a tournament game. But at the same point in time, we're all still friends here. And that's a, that's the type of attitude that people like to see. I'm sure me ranting about professionalism in this video is completely unnecessary, and yes, that's a joke. <laughs> For those of you that don't get it, check out my Housen cast, but um, <laughs> overall, it's it's always a pleasure casting BTN. They always seem to be pretty cool, and uh, yeah. you know, just MSI, same thing. They're nice guys, and it's it's just awesome to see somewhat, you know, funny and, and, and well-mannered sportsmanship. So, we do still see the token at seven and a half minutes on Corrupted Disciple. Uh, Accursed almost with Gnome's Wisdom now, Sandwraith going straight mock. Oh, man. I am oh, pseudo dear. against this, somewhat not. I would like to see more of a beefy build, considering she has three healers on him. Uh, and, but, it, to each his own. As long as you're going to keep Sandwraith up for the entire fight, you're going to win. Um... It, 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 you keep Sand Wraith up for 1,500 health. Let's say you hit 500 more health, so that's 2,000. Uh, at dissipation, 20% of all incoming damage to the Sand Wraith is reduced and reflected to enemies in a 1,000 radius. So I was wrong with the 800. I apologize. We do see Teal being caught in a ward by BTN here. Dagger going off. DC, I'm going to get the heal and the slow. Oh, man. Sh that heal was just dirty with two sets of illusions. Yeah. It was a, a <laughs> 5 times 140. That's 700 physical straight to Hellbringer's face. I mean, that's that's almost as bad as a buff sand rate hitting you once. But, uh... Uh, anyway, uh, you know, it's... it's 2,000 HP will say from Sand Wraith, and you're going to be taking 400, that means 400 of it gets negated, and you're taking 400 of it in magic damage and a huge AoE, and we actually see Plague going down there to a to a Corrupted uh, and Demented. The exact same thing demented. happened again. Demented Shaman did a heal bomb with uh, two sets of illusions, and he just went down. So I think we're going to see a change in the metagame. Demented Shaman going Geometer's Bane and healing people. Corrupted Disciple going in. <laughs> oh, never mind. That was just an image. Uh, we're going to see him carrying with Geometer's Bane and heals, but... Uh, we also see the mid tower going down. There are two people down for the Legion team, so there's not a whole lot that they can do here. Pestilence, uh, I can't click on him for some reason, is going BKB, or excuse me, Shrugan Head, but he's actually taking a lot of damage from Corrupted. Corrupted taking an Arachna ult, though Hellbringer ult going off. Arachna trying to get out of there. Corrupted hugely slowed by that Arachna ult, but still, what are you going to do? I mean, look at all the heals. Soul Reaper's healing. A curse is healing. Demented Shaman's back in the fight. He's healing. You see, oh, uh, you, you just can't crack it. You have Gnome's Wisdom as well, so everyone's getting armor. You have, I believe, Soul Reaper with armor boots? Yes, just physical armor, magic armor, everything. Tempest trying to blink in and get an ult off there, but it's not going to do much. All he does is catch Soul Reaper in it. Pestilence coming in. They might be able to pick off Disciple here, but he's just going to totem back into the fight. It, it's just not looking good for the Legion team at all. This might actually be the GG push. Pestilence trying to stun people off of him, but there's just nothing he can do. Soul Reaper now finishing off the melee barracks. Corrupted Disciple is going to do the same, and all five people for the Hellborn up. All Legion has is helping well Arachna. GG, well played. Absolutely. I, I have to hand it to BTN. Really, really well thought out strategy. And I'm not going to lie. I say bring the Sand Wraith back. A lot of people think that it's a, a boring hero to watch, but I mean, I with totally the Ultimate, agree. I think that ganks. I think ultimate ganks are, are still viable from Sand Wraith. I, I, I think as long as you don't turtle around a Sand Wraith and another carry that's not ganking, that's when the boring games occur. But let's go ahead, let's yeah. disconnect from here. And go ahead, I mean, Khan, any thoughts on that game, boss? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, for, for the past while, I really haven't understood why um, Sand Wraith hasn't seen play, even after the nerf to... Uh, dissipate or whatever it's called. I I still think he's the best carry to be farming. Like, 
he he's really hard to gank because the desert. He can go farm for as long as he wants and then.